Sup nerds, I'm Breckener here, and welcome to a 100 kill game on the map Aftermath. This is the downturn of Black Ops 2, so this is just quite ridiculous that I got a gameplay on it. This is just, it's a really terrible map, but I got exactly 100 kills on the nose, and I get the 100th kill in super dramatic fashion at the end. It was, I think, they're, they're writing a movie about it right now in Hollywood. But yeah, Aftermath. Uh, the first half, I go 49-0, and 0, which is pretty cool, and then I just, I just screw up in the second half and I die a bunch, but, yeah, flawless first half, so I'm including the entire first half of the gameplay, and a little bit of the second, and then the finish, where I get my dramatic final kill. I'm um, using the AN-94, Blackbird, VSAT, Swarm, that's pretty, pretty standard, actually. Uh, I play really, really smart in this gameplay, I say, like, it's kind of like defensive but like kind of like a passive aggressive kind of style I just especially in this first half this entire first half I play really smart if I want more kills then exactly 100 then I'm gonna have to learn to play more aggressively but the more aggressively you play the more likely it is that you'll die so it's that balancing act and that's what I'm gonna have to do so if you couldn't already tell I'm still kind of sick this is the cold that never gives up, it's just holding on and saying, No, I will kill you. This uh, portion of the gameplay, this, uh, like, when the Blackbird's up, I, I'm thinking I should have played more defensive, or sorry, aggressively. Let's just say the completely wrong word. Uh, but I know it's kind of, eh, it's tough. It's tough that, that balancing act. There were moments where I could have played a lot more aggressively, but I really wanted to just survive. Anyways, enough about the gameplay, I got some stuff to talk about. Uh, first thing is, thank you, nerds, for 400 subscribers. That's that's 400 people. That's about all I've got to say about that. Thank you. I appreciate it, and thank you for watching my videos. It makes it makes me feel good on the inside, and my penis, he stands up, and he's like, Hey, thanks, guys. <coughs> so, if I just made you uncomfortable, sorry about that. But, uh, yeah. Another thing is the NHL lockout has come to an end. That's uh, stupendous. I'm a really big hockey fan. It's my favorite sport, and the lockout is just ridiculous. This guy sneak in here. I'm like, he's trying to sneak in. I'm like, no, I'm actually over here. <laughs> Anyways, so the lockout ends. Really happy about that. If you haven't heard, I don't know if I've mentioned this. Probably have. I'm a diehard Maple Leafs fan, even though they're terrible. But I'm still excited to watch them lose. Except we might actually get Roberto Luongo from the Canucks. Um, I live in BC, I've watched Luongo a lot, he gets a lot of flack over here just because, well just because, the Boston Stanley Cup final if you watch hockey, anyways, I think he's a great goalie and I would be willing to bet my left nut that we'll get into the playoffs if we trade for Luongo, so I think the Leafs should do that and I'm excited to watch hockey, it should be I think January 16th is when the season's gonna start, or maybe that's the training camp, whatever, it's soon. It's going to be a shortened season, but it'll still be fairly legit. Another thing I want to talk about, because I haven't uh, got a chance to put my two cents in, is that everyone subscribed over here, I'm sure is subscribed uh, at Amp Clan, the Amp channel. Of course, that's probably what, how you found me, but um, there's been the drama recently of that... Uh, Miss uh, uh, Game Specialist. Uh, my, name, my name is Mr. Specialist. I'm trying to do his accent. I can't. Anyways, there was all that drama, and I just wanted to put my two cents in is that, like, I'm sure a lot of you can tell that he was retarded and, like, Energy was telling the truth, but for those of you that are thinking differently about Amp Energy uh, since that video, I would just like to say that don't, because I know Energy, well, I don't know him personally, but I know him, like, because we've never met, but on Xbox, we've become really good friends. I do know him well, whatever. Um, and he's a great guy, really good guy, love him a lot. And all the accusations are just bullshit. He he loves his clan. He loves his members. And I just it just makes me sad that someone would try to like damage his reputation like that. The real irony, the tremendous irony, is that he calls uh, energy a hypocrite, and he p makes this video in front of a thousand people criticizing him, which is what he had criticized energy for doing in a single comment. So that means he's the hypocrite. So it's like hypocrite calling a hypocrite a hypocrite. It's hypocriteception. Anyways, all the game specialist is a faggot. Watch this. Hold on. And the round ends, so I get to have the flawless. Yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, in the gameplay, we're going to skip ahead here to near the end. That My canine and swarm are doing some stuff. This is just another little streak I get in the second round. I thought I would include it. And there's also a death at the end of this streak that 
I will not understand until the day I die. I just, anyways. So, all game specialist is a nerd. Trust me, Amp Energy is legit. He's a great guy, and Specialist just did that as a publicity stunt, in case you couldn't tell. So, I just wanted to touch on all that drama because it just kind of made me all mad inside that there are some people who maybe thought differently of Energy after the video, and he did not deserve that. Much like, you know, I deserve, I deserve spankings, but I don't get them. It's kind of the inverse relationship there, if you want to get mathematical. Right, okay, so, gameplay, I guess we can take a look at here, what is it, 131 to 96, I think I do, I get another set of dogs in the swarm, and then I die, and then my dramatic finish approaches, what else can I talk about, I suppose, aftermath sucks, but I guess something I can say is that I kinda would hang around the middle of the map, and like, I wasn't really picking up the action here, but I'm finally learning how to like how to play this map, how to push the spawns properly. I spend too much time going around that far side. I should have been cutting through this bar, but again, I don't really know this map well. I like I skip out on it a lot, and so I mean, I guess you can kind of see I don't do it perfectly, but a good way to rush the spawns on this map because it's a big map, and so I mean, I play defensively, uh, more or less passive aggressive kind of style, but 100 kills is still a lot, but I probably could have got more on like if I played this way on a smaller map. Basically, I'm trying to say this is a slow-paced map, but it's so big, but this death doesn't make sense. I will never, never be able to understand that. Anyways, we're going to cut to the very end of the gameplay here for the dramatic finish. So, kill that guy, whatever. My swarm kills another guy. I'm looking up. I'm like, where is he? Oh, and I get shot. What is that? 98 kills. Swarm picks up one more. That's 99, folks. So, I'm 99 and 6. And let's see, 189 points, 45 seconds. We got two flags. The timer's ticking, and I can barely run because you can't sprint in this game. It's like, sprint, no. Sprint, no. Sprint, no. It's frustrating. I know that 195 points. Oh my god, I got this. Is it? I could die. It's only one kill. Assist! I need this. Where are they? Oh, he's over there behind the cover. Bad cover! 100 kills! Yeah, I would have killed myself. I got 99. Anyways, 107. Final score, aftermath. I love you guys. Reckoner, peace.